The destructive power of nuclear weapons has evolved dramatically since the end of World War II. From the relatively modest yield of Little Boy, dropped on Hiroshima, to the monstrous power of the Soviet Union's Tsar Bomba, the maximum explosive potential of these weapons reflects not just technological advancements, but shifting doctrines of deterrence, warfare, and geopolitical strategy. The Little Boy bomb, dropped on Hiroshima, was the first atomic bomb ever used in warfare. It had a yield of 15 kilotons, enough to devastate the city and cause the deaths of approximately 140,000 people by the end of 1945. This weapon used a uranium-235 core and operated on a gun-type assembly mechanism. In terms of size, Little Boy measured about 10 feet or 3 meters long and 1.5 feet or 0.46 meters in diameter, with a weight of 9,700 pounds or 4,400 kilograms. Despite its historic significance, the yield of Little Boy is modest by modern standards, especially when compared to more advanced thermonuclear devices developed decades later. The detonation of Little Boy over Hiroshima resulted in an immediate and devastating impact. The fireball from the explosion reached temperatures over 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or 3,870 degrees Celsius, instantly vaporizing buildings and people within a close radius. The fireball radius for Little Boy was about one mile, or 1.6 kilometers in diameter, with the heat intense enough to ignite fires and cause extensive burns on people several miles away. The mushroom cloud created by the explosion reached approximately 12,000 feet, or 3.7 kilometers into the atmosphere, causing a visible signature of destruction that could be seen from miles away. The shockwave flattened 90% of the city, and the radiation released led to long-term health consequences, including radiation sickness, cancer, and genetic mutations. The Fat Man bomb dropped on Nagasaki three days after Little Boy had a slightly higher yield at 21 kilotons. Its dimensions were 10.7 feet or 3.25 meters long and 5 feet or 1.5 meters in diameter weighing in at about 10,800 pounds. That's 4,900 kilograms. The additional power provided by Fat Man was devastating, but it still represents a smaller portion of the potential seen in later nuclear weaponry. The impact of Fat Man on Nagasaki was catastrophic. The fireball radius for Fat Man was about 1.5 miles or 2.4 kilometers, and the mushroom cloud reached about 18,000 feet, or 5.5 kilometers, into the sky. The terrain in Nagasaki, with its hills, led to a more concentrated and severe destruction in certain areas. About 39,000 to 80,000 people were killed instantly. The Minuteman III ICBM, developed during the Cold War, is part of the U.S.'s land-based missile arsenal and continues to play a central role in the nuclear triad. This missile, capable of carrying multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles, or MIRVs, can deliver warheads with yields of up to 475 kilotons per warhead. The missile itself measures 59 feet, or 18 meters in length, and 5.5 feet, or 1.7 meters in diameter, weighing 79,000 pounds, or 3,600 kilograms. With a range exceeding 10,000 kilometers, this missile ensures that the U.S. can respond to an attack with a devastating counter-strike. A successful strike from a Minuteman III with a 475 kiloton warhead would obliterate a major city, leaving nothing but a massive crater and a toxic radioactive environment. The fireball radius would be about 4 miles, or 6.4 kilometers, and the mushroom cloud would rise to over 100,000 feet, or 20 kilometers, in the air. The blast radius would cover tens of miles, with secondary effects, including fires, shock waves, and nuclear fallout, extending much further. The DF-5 ICBM is a critical part of China's nuclear arsenal, designed to carry a single warhead with a yield of around 5 megatons. The missile itself is 85 feet, or 26 meters long, and 6.5 feet, or 2 meters in diameter, with a weight of about 188,000 pounds, 
or 85,000 kilograms. Its long-range capabilities allow it to target locations over 13,000 kilometers away, making it a key asset for China's strategic deterrence. A 5-megaton warhead would be capable of leveling an entire major city, and potentially even larger metropolitan areas, leaving behind a devastating nuclear wasteland. The fireball radius would reach about 5 miles or 8 kilometers, and the mushroom cloud would tower at least 40 kilometers into the atmosphere. The RS-28 Sarmat, also known as Satan-2, is a heavy ICBM capable of carrying multiple warheads or hypersonic glide vehicles. With an estimated yield of up to 10 megatons, this missile is one of the largest and most powerful in existence. It measures an imposing 115 feet or 35 meters in length and 10 feet or 3 meters in diameter, with a weight of around 210,000 pounds or 95,000 kilograms. Its size and potential yield make it a game-changer in nuclear deterrence, ensuring that any nation capable of launching the Sarmat can retaliate with overwhelming force. The 10-megaton explosion of an RS-28 would result in absolute devastation over a vast area, leaving massive destruction and radioactive fallout in its wake. The fireball radius would extend up to 10 miles, or 16 kilometers, and the mushroom cloud would soar to 50 kilometers, or 164,000 feet, far above the Earth's surface. The intensity of the explosion would cause global climate disruptions, as the soot and ash released into the atmosphere could block sunlight, causing a nuclear winter effect that would drastically affect the environment and agriculture worldwide. The Tsar Bomba, tested by the Soviet Union in 1961, is still the largest nuclear bomb ever detonated. With a staggering yield of 50 megatons, it could have destroyed an entire country, depending on the detonation site. The bomb itself was 26 feet or 8 meters long, 6.5 feet or 2 meters in diameter, and weighed 27,000 pounds or 12,000 kilograms. Its massive yield and colossal size made it more of a demonstration of Soviet nuclear capability than a practical weapon, as its destructive power was far beyond any real strategic need. The 50 megaton explosion from the Tsar Bomba would utterly obliterate everything within 60 miles or 97 kilometers of ground zero, vaporizing all structures and causing instant and widespread death. The fireball radius would be over 10 miles or 16 kilometers, and the mushroom cloud would rise 64 kilometers or 210,000 feet, making it visible hundreds of miles away. The sheer power of Tsar Bomba demonstrated the terrifying potential for global destruction that existed during the Cold War era, and it remains an icon of nuclear weaponry.